I just had to get this picture. I just had to get this in um, because a friend of mine in Cleveland took this picture and she was in the uh, path of a total eclipse. We were not. So it, for us, it was just like a purpley kind of sky. Anyway, without further, um, without we won't talk too much more about the eclipse, but I will say, uh, so I am Bud Krause and uh, I actually have a little slide presentation for you. There's my name. And what I am is I, I call myself a content creative. That is, I write uh, WordPress content for WordPress businesses, not only write, but create uh, videos, uh, courses, anything that is involved in really education uh, with WordPress. That's my, my thing. I've been at teaching forever. Uh, I've taught back in... Oh, 1998, actually, I started teaching HTML and CSS, and then all the way up till today, teaching WordPress. Um, so uh, I do that, of course, just online these days, but not in class, unfortunately. And I'm a podcaster. So this is something I thought I would never do. And um, oops, I just have to get rid of one little thing here that I just popped up. Sorry. Um, okay. Yeah. And um, oh, and uh, let me just go back over here for one second. We'll get this thing. All right. And I started a podcast. I just released it uh, fairly recently called Seriously, Bud. It's an unexpected conversation with someone in the WordPress community. If you stick around at the end, I'm going to give you access to free podcasts. Yes. Of people you may know in the WordPress community that I did recently. So hang around to the end. That's going to be your gift for hanging in. All right. Uh, we do a little yes, no question. Laura, I don't think I told you I was going to do this. So here we go. Um, and the, there's only two questions. And it gives me a little idea and everybody else think who is here. Okay. So first question. Nope. I, sorry. I have this stuff floating around here that I just want to get rid of. Huh? Here we go. First question. Yes or no? Yes, one, two, no. Laura, you can tell me the answers in the chat box. Um, do you like working with the block editor? Actually, we should have three. One is yes, two is no, three is no comment. And I'm sorry if you're hearing a, you know. Um, well, we have lots of yeses and, and ones. Lots of yeses. Good, okay, that's good. Lots of yeses and ones. We we got some really some block really editor good. people here. In the Any room. no comments, any threes? Uh, one or two threes, but yeah. Okay, and the they're, second they're one. still learning. They're still learning. Well, aren't we all, including me? Um, and have you used uh, a block theme? This should be question easy one. Yes is one. Two is no. I got lots of yeses. Yep. Yeah. Lots of ones. Any, any no's? We have a two. Well, we do. Okay. All right, so then I don't have to get into explaining what a block theme is because everybody knows. Okay, good. All right, so for today, I'm going to do a little talking here with the presentation, and then we'll get on to actual demonstrations. So 6.5, the big picture, well, you know, it came out in April, and um, it's the first of, in the beginning of April, it was delayed a week, but um, it's the first of three major releases this year. We're going to have the second one, 6.6 .6 in July, and then 6.7 will come along probably in late fall. Um, this really opened up, uh, so it sort of opens, I shouldn't say really wide opens, but it begins to open up the phase three of the Gutenberg project, that is what people call the collaboration phase. Although I think a lot of that is being rethought exactly what does that mean, the collaboration phase? You know, it isn't just to make WordPress into Google Docs, is it? I don't think so. Also, the thinking about what to do about the redesign of the WordPress admin. And in fact, 6.5 does actually open that door. Um, it also is a very technical release. This is according to my friend, and it's really true, Birgit Polly Hawk, which probably a lot of people know. Um, she was the one that told me in the very beginning, watch out, this is a really technical release. And it is, but there are changes in it for everyone. And also, um, it has many performance security and accessibility improvements. Now, almost all major releases do have those. This one seems to have even more, okay? 
Now, for you developers out there, now I'm not a developer, okay? I'm not even a reluctant website developer or builder anymore. I'm not even in that category. But for the developers, there were really a major changes or introductions to these APIs. And for example, the interactivity API, we actually saw that the beginnings of it in 6.4, when you could click on an image and all of a sudden it got a little bit bigger. So that's a very rudimentary idea of the interactivity API. Going forward, we're gonna see things like the mega menu, whether you like it or not, I think it's coming in core. And then these other things here, these other APIs here, allow now developers to do work in a more standardized way or plugin developers to work in a more standardized way and bring new features to WordPress uh, through their plugins that they can't do yet. So I think um, we'll be seeing a lot of that, you know, in the next year or two years, actually in the years to come, this will make a lot of really cool things uh, available in these, in, in plugins. Um, now, um, there's more work that was done on something that was in 6.4, the user block editor mode, basically something that, you know, turns on and off block visibility. But again, this is at code level. We also have uh, improved methods for script handling or script loading, I should say. And last, I'm having a little problem here, but we'll get there. Um, new uh, WP admin notice functionality. Okay. So let's get on to the stuff for like me. So for site builders and maybe you folks too. Okay, so I'm gonna first talk about, or actually what you're gonna see here are things, uh, we have to get, um, hold on one second here. Okay, we have to, Laura, am I still coming in loud and clear? Yes, you are, bud, you're all okay, awesome. Okay, just wanna check. Because there's a lot of stuff zoomy like floating around on my screen and it's a little bit distracting. So I want to make sure I didn't click off something. I says, oh no, I'm only talking to myself. All right. So the things you're going to see here are things that I'm not going to be demonstrating, but are parts of are part of 6.5. Uh, we now can add a background image to the group block. You sure know that you can do it with the cover block. And now it's in the group block. I have a feeling that background images will be able to be added just about to any block going forward eventually. Um, and there's now the aspect ratio functionality in the cover block. This is something that's new and really addresses a, an issue that was um, found in um, in mobile design. So um, now aspect ratio is a control that we've had already in, with just images, but now that's brought forward to the cover block as well. Um, there is support for a yet a new, believe it or not, you can't make this up, another image format, okay? So just as you're getting all used to and becoming experts on WebP, now you have this AVIF, okay? Now, every not every browser supports this, but that WordPress 6.5 does. And we now have block style patterns um, that are available, uh, I'm sorry, block style um properties available for um, for classic themes. So even though not everybody here, a lot of people are not using classic themes, what that means is if you are using a classic theme, you have style like maybe uh, margin, padding, border radius, border radius, things like that, that are available for blocks and classic themes. And you also have the ability to access um, in classic themes under the appear in the appearance section, there's now a link to get to patterns, okay? So that's good because you didn't have that before and it was hard to get to the patterns. And finally, um, there's an easier way to um, add site icons. Okay, now I'm not demonstrating any of those. I just wanted to list those and say, hey, you, I ticked those all off. So let's see what I am gonna um, demonstrate, huh? Right, I am? Yes, I am. So for the demonstration, it's really broken down into four parts here. First, we'll look at revisions. So WordPress now has a nice way to, especially with styles, go back in time, sort of like the time machine actually, to see what you did with styles. I think that's really cool. Oops. And certainly helpful too. And we'll see how that works. We also have what are called data views. I call it enhanced views for this for the site editor. And we'll take a look at that and show you quality of life. There's a whole bunch of these quality of life improvements. Um, 
And I'm going to show you about six or seven of these. And finally, you're probably wondering, what about that font library? Well, <laughs> yeah, I, I saved it for the end. I'm a little sneaky, but there it is. So hang around and we'll take a look at the font library. And of course, I'm interested too in hearing what people have to say about any and all of this. So we'll have hopefully a little time for, we will have time for questions and answers at the end. Okay. Now you should know before I get into the browser stuff that, you know, I am obviously working with 6.5 with the 2024 theme. So speaking of that, let's have a look now. Let me go over to my browser and, you know, I should have done this before. Let me just get rid of all this stuff over here. I don't think I'm going to use full screen, but you'll get the idea. Um, maybe I will. Laura, how's that look? Okay. Yes, that's looking good. Okay. Any questions so far? Uh, nope. Okay. Um, you don't want to know what I was doing five minutes before the... No, I'm just kidding. So here we are. Uh, and of course, I'm using the 2024 theme. Let's start with revisions, as I mentioned. So in we'll, into the editor, we'll go. And for that, I want to look now, there's revisions in different places now. But the first one that I think makes the most impact is in styles. And uh, like, for example, you know, these are all the style variations over here. This theme has eight of them, you know, and it's a really good place to start when you're designing your site, I suppose, to start with a style variation that closely approximates what you want. And then, of course, tweak it to get it to what you want. Let's say I went to this over here, kind of like that color. And now I click this over here. And over here now, we have, let me see, in the, let me see if I'm, so I click on the style button over here and over here, you now have um, this little icon right over here, this little clock icon, I guess, which is new. I click on that. Actually, this was first introduced in 6.4, but it's now more robust. So it'll give you like um, details. So if you click on, let's see this over here, you can get all these details to what it was back in, you know, a couple hours ago. Yeah, 17 hours ago. And if you like that style, you can apply it. And now you can have it again. Okay. Um, and that's, you know, you get the idea. Now, just going back here again, what's kind of nice too is that if there were other um, site developers or designers here, each one of their changes would be registered. When are these changes registered? Every time that the style um, is is updated through save. I also believe it's done automatically. Um, I don't know what the timing is, but I, I, I'm not 100% sure. I shouldn't say that. Definitely when you click save, that style is going to be saved. If you navigate away from the page without saving, I don't think that style is saved. So you should know about that. Now, down here, one other thing I get to do here, just give me one second, because this thing keeps popping up. <laughs> that is part of the, okay. And then down over here, you can navigate back. I call it the beginning of time. So if you want to go all the way back to the beginning of time, you can do this. And, um, but, and it will hold, and uh, I think it's now an infinity or close to infinity. I think it's either a hundred saves or endless. I'm not really sure which one. Endless doesn't really make sense because all this is being stored in the database and that's got to have a limit. But quite a few anyway of your revisions can be are stored here. So it's a nice feature. Uh, so if you're working on, for example, let's say you're in the style book. Let's go out to the style book right over here. And you know, you're working over here and you're saying, you know, I want to make a change. Let's do um, something like this over here. You make a change over here, let's say to the color of the buttons, that's going to, and you save it. Well, that's all, that's part of it. Let's just do that. Um, I don't really want to do that, but you get the idea. If I did want to make a change over here, I could change the color. Get rid of that. Anyway, let's say I wanted to, um, yeah, I'm not going to go through it, but you, if you change anything over here and save it, then you're going to be able to go back to your revisions and restore it. Here's another. And what's kind of nice too is, you know, you can, no, I don't want to apply. 
and um, over here and over here. So as you do this, um, you actually can get like a preview of it, which I like. Now, I'm what I'm doing over here, trying to get back to where I started from and have a little bit of zoom in my way here. Um, yeah. I'm going to click apply. I see. Apply. And all right. And again, back to revisions. Right. Right. And over here, so you get the idea. If I just click on any one of these, I should be able to see. Yeah, you can see the change. You could preview the changes before you actually apply. Now, that's one place that you'll see revisions, which is nice. It makes things a lot easier. And again, if there were more than one person working on this, you would see what their entry is too. I really like that idea. Um, there's also the ability to look at revisions in your templates. Not as elegant as this. And I couldn't get this to work for the life of me, but I did today. So let me show you. So I'm going to go over to templates right over here. And I'm going to show you, let me see, we're going to go over to templates and let's do the, let's manage all templates. Let's see right over here. Okay. And the template I want to manage or take a look at is the, find it over here somewhere. 404. Okay. And you can see right over here, um, you've got this little icon here. Now, what this was doing was if I clicked on this, it was resetting it or reverting it. I don't want to do that. What I want to do is look at the, okay. So I was playing around with the 404 error page and seeing if I could, yes, right over here, this is new. This is that clock icon again, but watch out because, oh, this is a little better than I thought. This is, pff, go figure. Oh, this is all the different style changes that applied. Huh. Yeah, this is not what I had in mind. Um, wow, this is... Oh, I know what it is. Sorry, let me just do this. Let's go back here and let's click into here. Right. And what we need to do is get out of... Yeah, this is what I want. Sorry. All right, right over here. It says revisions. Now, this is new. This didn't say this. Okay, before we were looking at the style revisions a second ago, I wanted to take you to this. And right over here, now, this is again, this is the 404 error page template. And I could click on this. And let's see if I, hold on a second here. Let's make sure we save it. All right, click on this. Yeah. Ugh. So, like I said, it wasn't as elegant. But you can roll back. Now, this does look like the kind of revisions we have seen forever with pages and posts. I do suspect that we will, let me just, um, I do suspect that we will uh, eventually have a much nicer way of rolling back uh, revisions and being able to have previews of what it looks like instead of code. But you actually can, if you want, roll back the way you have always rolled back um, uh, revisions and pages and posts. I, I really do think that this is something that's going to get worked on and it has to get better. All right. So much for revisions. Let's have a look at these page or enhanced page views. So we'll go over here. And for that, I'll start with this. So you know that you can now access your pages, right? Inside of, um, inside of the site editor. I suspect that eventually you'll be able to access your post, custom post types, everything. It starts to make you think, you mean this is what sort of like what the WordPress, the WP admin is going to work like or look like and work like? The answer is probably. But if I go over here to... Um, hey, Bud, we have, a we have a question oh. before you move on too much. Okay. Um, Ed was asking... Will the revisions work if I change themes? Example, go from 2023 to 2024. You know, I don't know the answer to that um, because like, yeah. let's say my hunch is no, because if you're making changes to templates, those templates are unique to those themes. Themes, yeah. 
Yeah. And so if they're tied to, if they're tied in that way, probably not. So it would be sort of irrelevant or, you know, that it's, yeah, probably not. Yeah. Mm. Don't Learned know for sure. Sense. Yeah. Don't know for sure, but it would yeah. kind of make sense, yeah. but um, yeah. we could yeah. be wrong. So it would be something to uh, look we on the developers wrong, but, page. Yeah. But I have a feeling that we're right because. Yeah. Because uh, of it. Though, Database. Right, the structure of these templates are different from one theme to the next. Yeah, and you probably can't transfer over your revisions. However, if you went back and reinstalled, let's say you went from twenty twenty four to twenty twenty three and came back to twenty twenty four, to me the question I want to know is: Do, do my can I bring my revisions back that way? And the answer is probably yes, because the revisions are being stored in the database. In the database, yeah. So you would think that you would have access back to those revisions. Yeah. Just a thought. Okay. Yeah. So here I am in pages, manage all pages. I hope that kind of helped. And here, this is like the list of pages that we've always seen in the WP admin, right? But a little bit different. So here it's very like um, minimalist. Uh, you don't see all that bulk action stuff yet. Okay. It's very simple. You can just, you know, title, authors, you know, but I think that this is also, it's basically a first iteration. And of course, if you click over here, you can actually view a revision. Doesn't that look familiar? Yeah. And of course, it jumped me out back to the regular WP admin. So much work to come on that. Let's just go back. But you see that um, you you know this is a, like sort of a new way of looking at at, at your pages. But that's not really the sexy part of all this. The sexier part is when you look at templates, let's go down to templates and over here. And I guess this is the sexy part over here. When I click on manage all templates. All right. And um, what I can do now. So these, this is what they're talking about, the data views. And we have seen if you've been around for a while, you know, the back when they first introduced the, the you know, uh, the concept of um block themes and uh, block templates. This has really changed quite a bit. But, you know, we've always had sort of the name of the template, the description. But now what you can do, let's just go over to um, here. Actually, um, yeah, I'm going to go right over here. So we have the table view and we have the grid view. And the grid view gives us little thumbnail looks at what our templates are now. This is what, it's great. You know, you can click on it and start working on it and so forth. That's fine. But what I don't like, and I think this will change, is that there's no ability to save this view. So if I navigate away or do anything, this is all going to disappear and default back to that table view, which I don't really, you know, I want to be able to save it. And I suspect that different users will be able to save different views, much like they do with their user accounts in the WP admin. So I think that will absolutely, you know, this again, first look at all this. This is, you know, brand new stuff. Now you also have the ability to search. I think we've had that already. So you can search for your template. And over here, you can um, add a filter. Not much here. Let's say author. And you wanted, let's say, search for me. So which, which, um, themes that I, which templates did I create in this theme? Here they are, or here it is. Uh, so there'll be a way if you have many people working on the site or a couple of them, you'll be able to know which authors created which templates by filtering through author. And I'm sure there'll be other filters coming in. And we'll have, um, you know, let's see what do we have over here. Yeah. yeah. Reset. And one last thing over here, again, this is very early in, the, in its development. It's the first time we're actually looking at these new um, views. Uh, we've got this down over here. Uh, oh, yeah, we have bulk edit, but that's not what I want. I want to show you. Yeah, so you can um, sort these in ascending. Uh, where are we? Yeah. Ascending and descending and so forth. So a couple of different filters. One that's kind of nice down here is if you have many different theme um, templates, you can say, I want to show 10, I want to show 20, and so forth on the page. Um, so that's, you know, a new feature, enhanced 
what they call data views. I just say, you know, views. Um, and I think that's, you know, took a little bit of engineering to get to this point, but I definitely suspect that's going to get much better. All right. Before we get into the quality of life stuff, the more sexy stuff. So anybody have any questions? I'm saving the sexiest for the last. So um, any, any questions, Laura? Um, the room brought up, um, he, he's running the 6.5 and under appearance, I'm showing right. the appearance items that were there from the previous version and not the new version. Is this, but which theme? Yeah, which theme, Jerome? Are you yeah. on 2024? Yeah, that's gonna make all the difference in the world. Do we have an answer? Not yet. Any reply? Nope. Okay. Drew, so while we're waiting for, go ahead. Yep. No, no, we're, oh, a WP business. Okay. Then yeah. they might have different settings within their dashboard that they populate. And that may be a, you know, that's probably a classic theme would be my hunch. And that, that means if it's a classic theme, when you click over here to appearance, you're going to have, a, you're going to have more, you're going to see customizer, menu, widgets, all that kind of stuff that we've seen forever. And if you're using a block theme, you're just going to see stuff like this. You're going to definitely see the word editor. That's your absolute clue. Of course, block themes, meaning that you can edit the entire site with just blocks and no code or very, um, okay. As I play around with my seat over here. All right. Now I want to take you over here to a page that I've set up for our demo and it's on quality of life. I love the quality of life stuff because it can't make things better and easier to work with. And sometimes it's just downright fun. Um, so one is if you go over here into preferences, you go down to preferences. Uh, again, this Zoom stuff keeps popping up every time somebody goes in and out of the, the Zoom room. I get this, this change here, which I don't like. All right. And um, down over here where it says preferences, I'm going to click on this. And they've done a little bit of work in this area over here. Oh, again, this thing keeps popping in and out. People come in and out. Ah, All right. I'll try not to let it distract me. So over here, you see that we have um, uh, some of these. Yeah, this is pretty much the general has changed pretty much. But appearance. Um, has changed a little bit in that all of these options that we've had, dock the toolbar to the top and distraction free and uh, spotlight mode and so forth. These are now in here and I suspect they're all gonna, they may all leave this area over here eventually that you see, you know, up here and you're just gonna be able to access them from here. At least that's what I think is gonna happen. But here's something that's a little new is an accessibility. Now you can toggle this on. So uh, if I did, you wouldn't see any difference because I don't have the right hardware to, to show you this, but this one I do. So let's get something out of the way. I think I can do, yeah, hold on. Let me just, let's make sure. All right, here's my toolbar, all right? I, just, I have to show you that in order for this little demo to work here. And if I go back to um, preferences, yeah. Right down here. All right, now go to accessibility and I click on this. So look what happened over here. All the little icons turned into words. And this is a big help in accessibility. And if you don't like those icons anyway, and you just rather see the words, well, there you go. So I kind of like that. Uh, I kind of prefer this because it just less takes up less real estate. But um, if you want the words to show up, there you go. It's an accessibility. So those are some changes in the preferences. Uh, another change, and it's probably really much, probably one of the biggest change of all, is if I go over to here, let's go back to here, whoops. And um, right over here in the page section, and if I go to 
here we go, template. So now it's a lot easier to access the template that you're, that for which this page applies. So it's using the page template for the page. Uh, if you want to switch the template, this is kind of nice. So if I switch template, what's going to happen is WordPress is going to suggest similar templates to handle page content. And you can switch your template over here. I kind of think that's very interesting. It makes life a lot easier. Remember, every theme has templates and every type of page or post or custom post type uses one and only one template to output all the content and design of a, of a page or a post. That's a really important principle to understand is that it's only one template that will generate what you see on a page, post, custom post type, or anything that you see on a website. Uh, and knowing which template is in, is in play whenever you see something, obviously that's very important. Okay, so um, if you have questions about that at the end, I'm happy to answer that stuff. Okay, um, and um, yeah, I really like that. Um, other, you know, create your own template and so forth. All right, nice. So that is new. Uh, it's not actually, it's, it's, it's not so much new, but certainly improved. Uh, in addition to that, I have to quick look at my notes over here. Oh yeah, the list item. This is nice. So watch this. So we go to list item, or list view, sorry. List view. And uh, I'm gonna just and one of the things that's nice is that you can um it's drag and drop just got much better. If you've noticed in the past, if you had something at the bottom, like over here, this FAQ section, and you try to drag it up to the top, it was like, I can't do it. It's just like I'm going like this all day and I just can't get it. Now it's like this. It's exactly the way you would expect. All right. Perfect. All right. So they got that all ironed out. It's really, yeah, you can see it drag and drop just got so much smoother and nicer. Here's another thing too that changed. If you want to, for example, you know, and if you would have to, if you want to um, see what's inside or what are the operations that you can have on the group block, you always had to click on these three little dots. No more. Now you can just click on the whole section, this like blue area, right click. And you have all your options over here. So you don't even need these three little dots anymore, but I'm sure they're not going anywhere. And last on the list view is that you can rename a lot of the blocks. So how do you rename it? Well, group. Now, I think group block has been able to rename for a while, but all you have to do, so many blocks can be renamed. Now, some of them can't be renamed, okay? Paragraph doesn't make any sense. You can't rename paragraph. But you can rename columns, groups. Most containers can be renamed. And let's say you just said, uh, this would be kind of a bad name, but first group. All right. And um, let me just do here. And, and if you didn't like the name, you spelled it or whatever, which would be, usually be my case, then it'll be just very simple. You just go over here and then go back to rename. Um, and then just wipe it out. Or it just says group. I guess I didn't save it, so... That's the reason. Anyway, it can be renamed. Now, little note is whenever you do a, a, a heading or a subheading in your page, it will automatically show the, if you typed in like, this is a subheading, then you would see this is a subheading over here. So you don't even have to rename the headings. It'll just be done automatically. But everything else, most of the containers like galleries and group block and cover block and those can all be renamed. Why is it a good idea? So that it's easier for you to understand the construction of your page rather than just seeing these generic terms like cover and group and column and columns and st stuff like that. Okay, so you've got some nice changes in the list view. Um, here's a really good one. All right. Hey, Tal Bud, can I interrupt yeah. you for sure, a second? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Because we need some we need some clarification. Um, okay. How are we doing on time too? Because oh yeah, all right. Um, we got about twenty minutes. Okay. I'll, so we'll, we'll, you will definitely get there. Uh, so there's a conversation about uh, themes and templates, mm -hmm. and um, I knew this was coming. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you you made the statement of uh, there is one template per site. No, that's not correct. There's one theme I said it that, right. per site. Yeah, right. that's why Did I, I wanted you that? to clarify. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I say that? Well, that's because I didn't get enough sleep last night. No, of course, <laughs> there's one theme per site. And a theme can have many templates. What I did, I hope I said that each page or post or custom post type has its own unique template. Which is the template is the is the is the is the structure of that right. particular page. Exactly. Right. And the theme comes with a, a set of basic right. ones for you to use. It has, a theme comes with, you know, 10, 15 templates. You can even make your own templates and then assign templates to different types of content for your site, pages, posts, whatever. Okay. Does that, I hope, hopefully, hopefully yep. I, if I did say um, you're whatever, <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to think about what I said. So um, no problem. Okay. Yeah. Um, we got it right this time for sure. Uh, a theme, a, a, a site always has one and one, only one active um, theme at any one time. Okay, so now for the um, for the improvement in the links, and boy, do we need it. Uh, uh, so let's say I click on a word, right? And I go into my link tool over here. So now we now have, wow, so we now have at least what WordPress is thinking that, you know, which which page you want to you know, use that as a link. And I'm just going to say, let's link to this page over here. And that's fine, okay? And of course, now though, I could also, we go over here, um, I can de-link, okay? Or I could actually, the best way to do it is uh, once, you're, once you put your link in, which is so much easier now, if you want to, you know, change the text, you can change the text. You want to change the URL, you can change the URL. And you've got a couple of other options over here, like no follow and stuff like that. So that is really nice. In addition, again, I'm going to click on this. Uh, if I want to de-link it, you could do it right from here. I'm going to link it again. Let's just put up a link over here. Let's do this over here. And also what's new is uh, if you want to copy this URL and paste it somewhere else, I can paste it somewhere else. So like lots of that's quality of life stuff. It's a lot easier to work with. And then finally, here's another one too. Let's so let's say I want to have a link right there. Okay. And let's say I want this to link to a page on my site. So all I have to do now is I clicked, gone into my link. Here's my link. Let's say I want to link to the blog archive. And there it is. I don't even have to type the word in. If I do want to, or whatever the you know the the title of the page, if I want to make a change, here we go. And of course, open this, and now you can change the text right over here too. So that's really you know much smoother, much nicer. Hallelujah! The link operation got much much better for all you old time WordPressers like me. It sort of looks like what we had a thousand years ago like in WordPress version 3.2 or something like that. Uh, when, when it all worked, uh, it sort of in many ways reminds me of how that worked. All right, so that's links. In addition to that, we have a couple more quality of life improvements. And then we'll get onto the font library. Um, oh, we have one more actually. Um, and for this, I think I'll just, well, okay. So you now have, Let's see, what is it? I should turn off my, I don't know why I still have this going here. Um, but hey, bud. Yeah, yeah. Um, the templates, is that stored in the themes database? No. Templates are files, okay, that come with the theme. And the difference now between a block theme and a classic theme, the templates were written in PHP in classic themes. In block themes, they're actually written in HTML. Oh my God. Now it isn't just like regular, you know, HTML. There's like stuff put in there. I wrote a really good article, if you might say so, for GoDaddy called um, like understanding black grammar for not dummies, but for people like me that, you know, new HTML, no HTML, no CSS, but said like, what is inside of that stuff? So I, I had to um, do a little research. It's not that difficult, really. It's, it's if you know, um, it's it's really if you ever looked at block grammar it's like whoa i sort of understand this uh and it is but the files themselves 
for um for 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 block themes are written in html i actually call it wp html sort or wpml wordpress markup language um sort of a specialized way of writing html um uh, can, that, can you repeat the um yeah. the link that you mentioned so i can look yeah. it up one last thing to, oh the link um it's called uh it's godaddy article called um like understanding black grammar or black grammar for the non-programmer, something like that. Oh, I don't know if they published it yet. You know, they said they were going to publish it. Um, so I'm not so sure that's online yet. So look, what can you say? Um, anyway, that was an interesting exercise because I had to learn a whole lot of stuff, but not become a, an authority on JSON notation. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to be, you really don't. It's sort of like common sense. Um, to at least understand what you're looking at. Um, oh, the other thing about, um, what was it? Templates and themes we just talked about. Uh, yeah. Um, all right, one last thing that I wanted to do with the quality of life, and then we'll get to the font library, is, um, oh yeah, drop shadows. I'm, I'm just gonna tell you real quick. Uh, I don't really, I'm crazy about this, but I'll show it to you. So there are, uh, it's certainly, I think the group block, the columns block supports uh, drop shadow. Again, this is sort of in its infancy, but um, so here I have um, highlighted a columns block, different than a column block, as we all know. And um, so if I go into your style and down here, um, let me get this out of the way, we can see um well no we can't i have to click on here all right mm, something's in my way what are you trying to find i'm trying to find here we go right okay. over let me get this thing it's still in my way so it's kind of you know it's one thing to be visually impaired it's another thing to have stuff on top of stuff okay um here we go um so uh, okay i guess it does it's not supported here i thought it was anyway trust me on this i don't want to spend any more time let's just try it over here here's columns last, last try should be over here um click on the three dots over here yeah shadow oh you're looking for the shadow okay yeah okay only the shadow knows and you click <laughs> on this over here and you can see now you got some, you know, possibilities like that. Oh, I have one more quality of life. I forgot something here. And then you've got different, there you go. Not a lot of ways to control all this stuff, but at least some possibilities here. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it over here. One last quality of life. This is a good one that I almost left out. And I would have really kicked myself. So you know that you can drop images into your you know design area over here but watch this so i've got two images ready to go somewhere uh and i'm just going to drop this one in here oh yeah <laughs> so um now come on oh i know what it is sorry i put this one over here and i'm going to take this one over here and i'm just going to put it in let's say over here so i've created a gallery without even opening up a block and how do I know it's a gallery? Well, here it is. It says gallery down here. And if I open this up, I should see that I have two images right over here in my gallery. And well, how good was that? Of course, I want to rename the gallery to Italy images or whatever I can rename it. So that's kind of nice. You can just start and you can start it very simply by dragging images in. And then, of course, arranging it like you would, you know, images or how you would do any gallery. All right, last thing to do, and like the best thing to do, maybe, and that is the long, 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 right? I mean, how many years did we wait for this font library? So back to the, now again, this is only going to work. Font library, if you're using a classic theme, forget it. You can't use it. You know, you still have to use plugins and tricks and all kinds of stuff to get different kinds of code, different kinds of ways to get your custom fonts into the site. But now, if you're using a classic, uh, a, a block theme, I'm sorry, like 2024, if I go into 
styles. All right. And let's just open this up over here. And now we have um, over here. And I know it's a bit of a, you know, you've got it. <laughs> you've got a little ways to go, right? So I'm in the topography section of the styles section. Um, and right over here, now you see these fonts over here came with the theme. And you actually have some like system fonts over here. And then these two fonts came with the 2024 theme, but you say like, oh, I don't want any of those. Okay, here's what's new. Click on this over here and Smodal pops up and it's the font library. And so it always gives you sort of the, you know, um, library overview. Now they say that this is like the media library. I don't get it. I don't think it is. But here's where it is like the media library. Any fonts that you're using here are fonts that are downloaded to your WordPress installation. Okay, these are not streamed fonts or whatever. These are all actual font files that you're going to bring into your site. So even if you're not aware of it, and they're all going to be stored, I think they're all stored in a folder called fonts, which is located in the uploads folder in the WP content area. Now, you know, there was a lot of debate about all of that, but... Um, <laughs> That's where it is. Okay, it, so. it is called the font. Yeah, it's the font library as opposed to the media library, which yeah. uh, takes oh, care yeah. of your images oh, yeah. and Definitely stuff. Definitely not the so. media library. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I know. But they were always like all the people that were working on this um, were always saying, let's just like the media library. <laughs> not really. Uh, at least I don't see it. OK, so two ways. One is you can use Google Fonts, all right? And the first time you do that, you're gonna, first time you use this, you're gonna see this. And all you have to do is just click on this and you're done. I don't know why they just don't start with this, but okay. And you can then search the 600 Google Fonts over here, all right? And you might say like, uh, I wanna use, oh, now, if you don't know which one you you know to use, one way you can do this is just go to Google Fonts and pick one out, I guess. But let's say you know about Roboto, right? And here's Roboto. And then all the different variations of Roboto, uh, you can click on all these and use them. I would only use the ones that you want to actually use, okay? Don't, you know, if you're not going to use them all, then don't use them all. Let's say I want a heavier weight Roboto, so 700. And uh, I'm going to install. And that's it. I think I'm done. Let's go over here to the library. And you can see I now have Roboto in my library. Another way to do this is if you don't like Google, let's say you're using uh, Adobe Fonts, or let's say you have a favorite font foundry, you know, or you can get free fonts on the internet, right? So, um, uh, and I did. So I'm going to just click over here. And let's hope this works because this better work. Um, and I'm going to go over here. Let's see what's new. In this. Here we go. And I have a, no, oh, I'm sorry. It must be on my, where is it? Here we go, fonts. Okay. So I have gotten five different fonts. Notice that the, 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 the W O. The W, the Wolf, the W O F F or T T F, or there's a bunch of different uh, font um, formats that are supported. I don't know them all. I'm not certainly not an expert on this, but let's say I want. They're, they're listed on that page yeah. when you click on I really, I upload. Like yeah. So just to yeah. as a reminder to yeah, make yeah. sure Actually, that those are. Yeah. yeah. True. Okay. So I'm going to pick one. Uh, I suppose I can multi-select all of these, but I just want to take one. And there it is, it actually worked. Go back over here. And now you can see I have this one over here and I've got the Roboto and okay, fine. Now, how do you, whoops, <laughs> how do you, uh, my goodness, let's go back yep. to where I was. Yeah. And, and you're at five I, minutes, bud. Five we'll minutes. be done. <laughs> at least I will be done in, five, in two minutes actually. So how do you use these? Okay, so I'm gonna get out of here. And so now you see over here, look at this. We've got these new fonts to use. Let's just say I want to just change this paragraph over here. Now you can use the fonts to apply across the entire, you know, globally across the entire site, or you can use them for a specific block on a specific page. So that's really nice. Of course, if you're good designers, you know 
that you're not going to use 15 different fonts on your website. Let us hope not. But let's say I wanted to change this one over here. So all I'm going to do is use this one over here. And let's see if this will, huh. Um, yeah, I don't know why this isn't working. Um, you're trying to go back into the uh, the library. Yeah. yeah you you right. just need... Yeah, so we'll what do... you want to do is is scroll down a little bit more to elements. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. And then you have your text you. and your headings right. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, You yeah, can yeah. change globally. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. So I'm going to go into text. All right. Yeah, thank you. And uh, down over here. So now look at this, where you have all the fonts. Well, I can just say, thank you, Laura. You saved me. <laughs> so, right. Yeah. And you can just save it. And then you can see there's a difference over here. Or if you want to just do another one over here, just go over here where it says, okay, and you can just change this, okay. So what's nice is that this feature, again, you can set your fonts across the entire site. Of course, one way to, to do this, this is the last thing I will do. Well, I hope it's not the last thing I do, but. <laughs> well, you only so, have three minutes, so. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> one so last say, thing. All right, so let's say I'm going to go into the style book, right? And let's say for all the headings, I want to change the text, right? Oops, not the color, but the topography. And for all the headings, I want to use uh, Roboto. Ta-da! How good is that? So now it's set across the entire site. All the headings now take Roboto. And if there's a certain page of the certain heading, I want to change that, then I can just change it on that one instance. So there's a way that you can set your topography with new with the fonts in the font library and apply it to the, uh, like I just did over here with the style book. And with that, I think, wait a minute, we have, what about the, uh, don't I, can I give away the prize? Yep, give away the prize. <laughs> All right. So you, you, I'm, I'm not even going to do the wrap up because, you know, but I am going to give you for being such good attendees. And do we have any questions while I'm fumbling around here? Um, no, I. We were we were kind of answering them that um, okay because we well, didn't have enough time to do everything and um, pretty much so pat yeah, did. yeah patterns is it, patterns is still there you can create your own patterns um, you can create your own templates uh, so go go yeah. play and have fun yeah now I, what I just, yeah yeah absolutely well that's the way you explore so, you know we 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 play and we learn and. Um, Oops, I have this, you know, I'm not used to this, but I have a lavalier microphone on me and I probably have knocked it a hundred times already. But what I just did was I gave you a link, free podcasts, okay, of my new series called Seriously Bud. And um, I think you'll enjoy it because you'll see a whole bunch of people in there that you may know and maybe you'll subscribe and it's all free. There's no sponsors. So that's it. Uh, all right. If you and if you need to reach me, by the way, I can give out my email address, but it's bud at joyofwp.com. So I hope you all learned something new um, and found it, you know, of value. That's the important thing, you know, that you found it useful. Any any questions before we say goodbye? Um, no, just lots of thank yous and thank you, Bud, for well, taking the all. time to share this with us. Okay. And thanks, everyone. Have a great day.